Hey everybody, sorry. Our Wi-Fi cut out totally. So so annoying. I'm gonna have to call Verizon. I am so sorry. I apologize. I turned around and nobody was there. <laughs> All right. So I believe I know where we were when it cut off. I do apologize. I'm not sure why our internet or Wi-Fi just keeps shutting off occasionally. It used to do it every like once a week. Now it's about five times a week. I don't understand, but I apologize. So we're here and we finish that side. Let's inhale again and exhale, fly down. And let's take the left foot back. And again, we're gonna come up in our crescent lunge. We're gonna take our balance backwards and we've done this before. So from your crescent lunge, we're gonna take this back leg to the front, to your chest and try to keep it up in the air. So let's lean forward, press through the front heel and bring this knee up to the chest, relax your shoulders. Good, keep it here, keep it here. Now we're gonna go into tree pose from here. So you can place your foot wherever you'd like. You can take it on the inside of the shin. You can take it a little lower and press that heel into your ankle or take it a little higher past the knee. Any of those totally work. We're pressing the knee back, arms are overhead and they're right by your ears. Relax your shoulders, squeeze your belly. Maybe even have that tree sway in the wind a little bit back and forth. If you'd like to test that balance a little more. Good, good, good. Hands come back down. Keep that leg there if you can. Relax the shoulders, become that solid tree. Now, as we take the, the foot off of the leg, we're gonna lift the arms and lift the knee back up to the chest and take the leg straight back into that crescent lunge again. How did you all do? I bet you did wonderful. All right, let's take your hands and frame the front foot. Take the right foot forward, the left foot back. We're coming back up into your crescent lunge. Now on this other side, we have to bring that knee through for that balance and even out. So let's lean forward, press through the front heel, bring that knee up to your chest. Wonderful job, as high as you can. And let's plant that leg or that foot on the leg where you're comfortable holding tree. On this side, because of my knee, I am going to put my foot on the ground and place my heel into my ankle. Relax the shoulders. You still have a neutral spine here so your hips are not sticking back too far. Have that tree wave in the wind a little bit. Good. And you, you even want a deeper challenge here. You can take your head and look up at the ceiling or even close your eyes. You can add that. Just make sure if you close your eyes, there isn't much around that you can fall into if you happen to fall, or maybe have a wall next to you so you can tap your fingers against the wall. Now from there, we're taking the leg back up to the chest, bring it up, up, up. We're gonna take it straight back into the crescent lunge. Wonderful, and the hands come down. We're going to take that front foot back into your downward dog. We're pedaling your heels in. Wonderful job. Now from here, we're going to rest coming back just for a few breaths because we had a little bit of a rest while I tried to figure out the internet. So let's take a few breaths here. Good, let's roll up to downward dog. Rocking the hips. 
And let's work on the core a little bit. So we are in downward dog. And if you cannot be in this position and you're on your chair, you can do downward dog split from here. You're just gonna lift your leg up in the air as high as you can without compromising your back. So you're keeping a neutral tailbone. You're keeping that leg nice and strong. We're not arching your back. You don't want to arch. So downward dog split on the mat. We're lifting that leg up. Good, squeeze here. You're lifting the leg as high as you can. Your belly is nice and tight here. You can stay here. Or for more of a challenge coming forward into your plank, we're gonna bring that knee into your chest. You can even place the foot down on the ground. Just tip those toes on the mat. Kick it back up, squeeze, and come forward. Bring it forward into that plank. One more time, lift, and bring it forward. Back to down dog. And let's lift the right foot. So the opposite side. Good, everything's tight and we're bringing it forward to your chest. And as you come forward, make sure the shoulders are over the hands and then kick back up. You're pressing your underarms down, the back heel down, come forward and bring that knee to your chest and lift. Good, let's take it down. Pedal your heels in. And let's bring your knees down to your mat. So from here, we're going to settle back to the heels. We're taking the belly as close to your mat as you can as you move your body forward onto your belly. Let's lift up into your cobra, which you should be able to get a little higher in than you could at the beginning of class because you're so warmed up. Good, and do it one more time. Inhale, wonderful. Now from here we go into locust. So we're gonna reach the arms back. We're flipping the palms to the outside with your thumbs up. Shoulder blades squeeze together and add the legs. So we're gonna hold here, opening the chest. Keep holding, we're squeezing your glutes. Looking good, everybody. Hold on to that. Oh, let's relax and face your head to the left. Take a few deep breaths. Now you can do the same thing we did before for locusts, or you can work on opening your chest a little more and strengthening your back by taking your arms over your head this time or lifting. Then we're gonna tuck the elbows behind your rib cage, lifting a little higher. The legs stay up, reach forward, press your pelvis into your mat, tuck, reach forward, tuck, Reach forward and tuck. Good, now rest and we're gonna face your head to the right. Deep breaths here. Awesome. Hands on your shoulders, and let's lift up from here. So from here, we're gonna work on some side planks, which are wonderful for your obliques, for your upper body, for your legs. Planks are good for everything, for your balance. So let's try an elbow side plank. We're gonna tuck that elbow under your shoulders, Spread the fingers, press the palm into your mat. Now notice both of my knees are bent right now. I'm gonna give you a couple options. So no matter where you are in this plank, 
You want to make sure your chest is not falling, your head's not falling. You keep your spine nice and long. So from the crown of your head to your tailbone right now is long. Our knees are bent. So the first step would be to just lift your hip in this position right here. That may be enough for you. Right now we're working the obliques underneath and this is where you should feel it the most. If it's too much for you to hold, I want you to lift and lower until you get strong enough to hold that position. Also, there will not be strain in your shoulder if you're holding it back and keeping it stacked over the elbow. That's exactly where you want it to stay. So that's one option. Section op second option would be to take the top foot in front, straighten the bottom leg and lift from there. Can lift and lower from here or you can hold from here. Another option would be to take the top leg straight out, bend the bottom knee and lift up from there. You can lower and lift from there or hold. Third option, fourth option actually. We're gonna stack the feet and hold the plank there or you can stagger the feet. So the top leg will be in front of the bottom like this. So whatever option you take right now, we're gonna hold it for 30 seconds. I'm gonna do the staggered foot option. Remember, stay strong. We're trying not to slouch in your belly. Your glutes are fired. Keep your spine long. Ready? We're going to start in three, two, one. All right, let's go. I just keep my hand up here because it helps to remind me to keep my chest open and not drop it forward. Good. Keep it tight here. So my belly. And my glutes are fired. We still have 10 seconds. See, it's not a lot of time here. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, beautiful. Let's go to the other side. On this side, you might be a little stronger. You might want to try a different option. You can definitely do that. I'm going to try the same so everything stays even. You may even have an injury on this side and may want to take it back a notch. That's fine too. Ready? Three, two, one. Squeeze tight. Let's go. Hold here. You got it. Deep breaths here. Everything's tight. Everything's great in this position. Keep breathing. That's grounds for success right there. You're breathing. If you hold your breath, you're more likely to drop before it's over and we're done. That was 30 seconds. Good. Drop down. I hope that felt good. Let's roll over on to your back and pull your knees into your chest. You can rock back and forth a little bit here. So we worked on our back, our legs, our obliques, upper body, and we're gonna work on our abdominals. So I want you to take your legs up to the sky, point the toes. If your knees are bent here, that's okay too. We're pressing your lower back into your mat. So hollow out in your belly, squeeze your belly button to your back right here. A couple options here. You may leave your head on the mat, totally acceptable, especially when you lift your head. If you feel any strain in your neck, you want to leave your head down. Next option, hands behind the head, elbows stay open, fingers stay open, belly is still tight. Third option, arms are out, chin is tucked in. If you can keep your lower back on the mat that way and no strain in your neck, please take this position. Now we're gonna to start to lower the legs. We're lowering down, we're keeping our belly tight. Whenever it comes to a point that your lower back is coming off of the mat, you wanna lift those legs back up. Keep it strong 
and lift back up. Good, we're gonna do these for 30 seconds. We have already started that 30 seconds, so you can take these at your own pace. You don't, there's no reason to take them nice and fast, especially because we're focusing on those abdominal muscles, really squeezing in, we're breathing. Wonderful job. Another 10 seconds here. Good, tuck that chin. Remember, you can also always take your hands behind your head if you need to. Knees come to your chest. Wonderful job. Let's straighten the right leg and lift the left. Hands behind the left leg. Let's gently pull it toward you. <laughs> that was my dog trying to get in. And let's point and flex your foot. Good, roll the ankle around in one direction and in the opposite direction. And pull the knee in and let's cross that foot over the other leg. We're flexing both feet and pulling the right knee toward you. Good, feel that deep stretch. Take the left leg straight out and the right leg up. Point and flex as you pull it back. And let's roll through the ankle. Roll in the opposite direction. Let's cross it over. Flex your feet and pull back. Wonderful job. Let's pull your knees back in, lifting your chin to your chest, squeezing the knees back in toward you, placing the feet on the mat, and let's pull the heels into your hips, lift the tailbone up in your bridge all the way up to the top. Now, if you can, you're going to take your shoulders and roll them under, maybe even interlacing the fingers underneath to open the chest a little more. Hold this position, extend the hips, keep the knees over the ankles, release the arms. Let's roll down nice and slow. Walk the feet out as wide as your mat and take your arms in a goal post position. So both arms are bent, elbows are across from the shoulders, your palms are up. Dropping your knees from the right to the left. Right to left. Right to left. Good job. Let's take one last full body stretch before we relax. Arms overhead, pointing your toes. And let's drag your fingers along the floor. Place your arms away from your body. Your palms are up. Toes drop out. You can place that blanket under your head or your knees if you need a little more support. And let's just relax for a minute. 
If you are able to, I encourage you to stay in Shavasana for as long as you can. If you would like to end your class and your session, let's wiggle your fingers and your toes, starting to move your arms and your legs. And let's roll on your right side. And let's meet in a seated position. Hands to your heart. Thank you all for joining me this evening and thank you for your patience during class. Let's end this evening with a deep cleansing breath. The light in me honors the light in each and every one of you. Namaste. Wonderful job, everyone. Thank you again for your patience. I apologize. I'm going to call Verizon tomorrow and get this straightened out. But I hope that I see you for the next six weeks. Don't forget to get the new link for the next six weeks. It will be still Tuesday night at seven. And again, if you have any requests, just let me know and we'll do them. Thank you again. I'll see you next week. Bye, everybody. Thank <laughs> you.